Now this is highly unusual because usually I have to. Uh... <gasps> I saw it. Isn't that crazy? I saw it. He's, he's a, eating. He's a happy, healthy puppy. Look at him. I got my car back. There's no dent right there. I got a fish thing. What is that? Or hiding. Fishes need to hide. Oh, it's a PVC pipe. Well, it is time to rebuild. This is nice and cycled. Okay. We have Hope, the sail fin, over here. Hope is over here. Doing good. Doing good, being Hopey. And I'm slowly going to start adding some of our most prized missing fish. Like Dory, Papas, Puffy. I know we lost Papas. That was so sad. But Zaza's still doing good, and Marshall's in here hiding under there. Yeah, we saw him. He's in full copper, too, and he's fine. He's removing. Oh, yeah. good. And we saw Marshall at the store. Oh. And we also saw Jeff when we didn't get those two. Oh, okay. So we got a slightly different pop box. This is a one spot box face. Do you see that Weird. black dot on the end? Aside from that, he's Wait, exactly hold on. the same. Weird. Nice and healthy, oh, but Papa. he's gonna go in for 30 to 60 days anyway because I don't ever want to get velvet ever again. Right? So Hunter at the store said all of these acquisitions have been in here for a while. So if they had velvet, they would have been dead by now. Oh, okay. That being said, I'm still gonna quarantine everything from here on out. From here on out. Lesson learned. Oh, guys. What? He's pretty. Oh, he's turning bruised mango. He's scared. It's crazy how they do that. This is my favorite <gasps> acquisition. Puffy 2.0. Oh, Puffy. Okay, stop. Would you stop turning away? He's going he's with the bag. Beautiful. Back. It's hard to get a dead on look, but he's ch he's chunking. He yeah, he, he ate, ate over there. He ate. Oh my gosh. And Hunter said that he's been in the system for a long time. Really? Nobody's taken him yet? No, because everyone's afraid of puffers that they're not reef safe, which is not true. They are, or that they're difficult fish, which is true. But we've gotten good at it. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh, he's beautiful. He's different, I can tell the difference. He doesn't look like original Puffy because we could never replace that Puffy. Oh babe, I'm so glad you got him. So he might end up going straight into the hospital tank. I have to read Why? up a little bit. Well, it's really common for these type of fish, these puffers, to have worms. Oh. Um, so I might end up just worming him. Worm, oh, wait, wait, wait. Also, the <gasps> tiniest dory I've ever seen. They had some really big, pretty dories, but I don't want to. I don't want to overdo the the, the hospital the QT tank. Yeah, because it's cycled, but it's not like as you know robust and mature as the displays. Wow. So wait, what were you telling me about puffies? Like the reason why our puffy never grew? Yeah, he had worms, man. That's so crazy. It wasn't terminal, but it did keep him a little malnourished. Because the worms were eating his food. And back then we didn't have a tank to treat him, but now we do. Okay, so that's why we're putting him in the Possibly. copper. I'm gonna go in and read while he uh, acclimates. Oh, wow. I'm excited for you guys. Welcome, welcome. There will never be velvet in our tank again. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. This is my most favorite thing ever. Every time I sit down to edit, Mr. Fluff Fluff comes, stretches out, and just chills. If I leave, he wakes up. It's so cute. Puppy just ate. I want to see if I can get him to eat again, okay? Okay. Watch him. Now, this is highly unusual because usually I have to. Uh... <gasps> I saw it. Isn't that crazy? I saw it. He's, he's a, eating. He's a happy, healthy puppy. Look at him. Oh my gosh, going he's for going it. for it. Yeah. Old Puffy was just like, feed me, I don't want to move too he much. He was lazy. <laughs> He's lazy Puffy. This is energetic Puffy. Yeah. I don't know where Dory is though. Like, Motivated uh, Puffy. Popeye's number two is eating. Oh, wait. Hope is eating. Oh. I do not see Dory. She's so small and they are hiders. Hippo tanks. Hiders, yeah. Hippo tanks like to hide a lot. Hippo uh -huh. tang, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm just so happy about Puffy. Puffy number two. God, he's beautiful. He is. We need to come up with a different name for him. Like he deserves his own name. Yeah, because we need to honor old Puffy. Yeah, that's true. You know? I have my car back. We got the car back. I missed it. Where are we going, babe? We are going to Fishy Joe's house. To Yoda. We're going to Yoda, who voted early. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we going to Joe's house? Because his situation's done. Like, he's done. He's ready for what? the fish tank. It's in town. Yeah. There's a hole. Oh, the lights. Hey, you're epoxy. <laughs> oh my gosh, your lights look cool. I hear Dax. I hear Dax. Hi, Dax. Hi, Dax. 
So this is the uh, yeah, skimmer, huh? Uh, the giant skimmer. The giant skimmer. I've been told of this giant yeah, that's where skimmer. It's and then we got the lights underneath Show on this little me. switch so that we can see oh. what we're doing underneath. Wow, cool. dude, that looks fantastic. It's all clean. I like it's your clean flooring now. too. <laughs> clean for now. This is so big. So, oh, oh, I forget, we're gonna be on yep. the other side. And oh. there's a place for me to walk around all the way around the tank so that I can get into the tank easily. So Dude. is it gonna be a table? Yep. Oh, this looks fantastic, Joe. The lights are great. Yeah, I is. like the way you did the lights. So you can get on it. Lights all turn on easily Ooh. right now. Can you get a, a white version for when we come and film? <laughs> <laughs> I have the same radion, so <laughs> I can pivot this up. No! That's awesome, dude. When so you can figure this on your own? Yes, so once I get the wires tucked away, I won't have any issues here. This will go all the way up and then I can lock it down. Okay, new question. Why do you need to put those up anyway? If I'm sitting right here over the tank and I need to be able to see in on something, uh, I can move this out of the way. I'm gonna have two little light bars here but still put light into the tank and then I can reach down. And so. you're not worried at all <laughs> about this falling, especially on this side. <laughs> well, right now that side doesn't have all the bracing that it Oh, does. okay. Yeah, it's coming from my other stand. <laughs> <laughs> like, now I feel like, like you're like, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Should you stop, Joe? Should until you, you get just the move thing? No. that way some? <laughs> I put a, a two by four underneath the very edge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Inch ply with that epoxy on there, so oh. that holds it for now. That two by four will come down once the rest of the aluminum's in there. <laughs> <laughs> just checking, just for your safety. I love that you have this massive sump, and you're not even putting the skimmer in there. Like, <laughs> I well, can live in that sump. That the external ridiculous. skimmer was an afterthought on the sump. The sump was mainly just to hold all the water on a backflow in yeah. case there's power outage. Oh yeah. Because I've got the two, I'll two have two the two frag two. tank plus. You know, uh. That's 400 gallons of water. Remember, we flooded oh, our house with that, remember? Yeah, we turned yeah, the power yeah. off. I remember. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Was that was fun. We that was like, how gallons. many loads of laundry did we do? Yeah, 20, 20 <laughs> gallons of salt water all over the floor. That was fun. I drilled, oh, drilled the holes oh, You went the tank. there and drilled the holes. Yeah, I went to like, CA. That Dude, one's the... That's how thick our glass that's is. That's how yeah. thick it is. So that's what I drilled out today, and the overflow fits. Well, great work. This is coming along amazing. We can't thank you enough for what you did for ours. We get compliments on it left and right. I just like that it protects the wood. Yeah. It's a nice, easy surface to wipe off if you get something on it. Yeah. Yeah. So what's this little cutout for? That's going to be for plumbing and wires. Ooh. So both sides of the tank right in the front, I can have wire channels and then my two return pumps are going to go up along the walls and then come up over the tank and in. And then, the can I look on the other side? There's nothing to see yet. I just marked the corners where I'm going to cut today. What's going to happen to your frag tank? The frag tank is going to get taken down and moved in and plumbed into the big tank. And oh. sorry, right now it hasn't been cleaned up in a while, but... That's okay, we can't see much anyway because of the blue lights. Blue lights. <laughs> yes. Joe, great job. Thank we you. will come back and see what you do next. Yeah, the tank will arrive in a couple days. That's awesome, can't wait. You need it. <laughs> <laughs>